back to another one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Lata, and today I want to show you how to make this lemon mascarpone cake. Now the first thing we need to make and get into the oven is our sponge cake. So for that we're going to need three room temperature eggs, one package of vanilla sugar or just a good splash of vanilla extract, 75 grams of sugar with a good pinch of salt, and 75 grams of flour with one teaspoon of baking powder. So like with all of our sponge cakes, we're basically just going to whisk together our eggs with sugar, salt, and vanilla until it's super light and fluffy and doubled or even tripled in size. And in the meantime, we can sift together our dry ingredients. Now that our eggs are super fluffy, we can fold in our dry ingredients. And I usually like to do this in two increments so it's not all the dry stuff all at once weighing down the eggs. into our oven that's been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes but you do kind of want to keep an eye on it because you might not need the whole 25 minutes depending on your oven but you do want to make sure that the top is nice and golden brown and that the cake is cooked through. Now while our cake is in the oven we can start making our lemon curd so that can cool off. So for the lemon curd, you're going to need the juice and the zest of two lemons, one teaspoon of cornstarch, 75 grams of sugar, two eggs, and 75 grams of butter. So we don't need the butter quite yet, so this can go to the side for now. And we're basically just going to add everything else into a pot, whisk it up, and then heat it up on medium-high heat while we consistently stir until it's thickened up. Now you do not, I repeat, you do not want to let your lemon curd boil because that'll basically just scramble your eggs and ruin the whole lemon curd. So keep an eye on it and make sure it's just on medium heat until it's thickened up and that's it. No boiling. consistency we're going to strain it one more time to get out any of the lemon rind or any other lumps that might be in it and then we're going to simply cover it with some plastic wrap to make sure that there's no film that gets created on the surface of the lemon curd and we're going to let it cool off before we whisk in our cold butter.
done, we can put it into the fridge to set. So basically what's going to happen is all the butter that we added into it is basically going to thicken up our lemon curd. So that being said, if you want your lemon curd to be a little bit more runny, you can just add less butter. Now we can go ahead and make the actual filling for our cake. So for that, you're going to need 250 milliliters of heavy whipping cream, 30 grams of sugar and one package of vanilla sugar, or just a good splash of vanilla extract, 250 grams of kvach, which is basically like plain Greek yogurt, or just a really thick yogurt like this. And last but not least, 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. That being said, all we're going to do is whip up our heavy cream to stiff peaks and mix all of this together. Now, when you're working with mascarpone cheese, you don't want to overmix it because you can separate the cheese, which is obviously not what you want. So you just want to mix everything until it's a nice smooth consistency and then stop. also want to whisk in a couple tablespoons of our lemon curd mixture into our mascarpone mixture here until we kind of get the lemony flavor that we want. So if you don't like a really strong lemony flavor, start with adding a little bit less of your lemon curd. And if you really like a strong slap you in the face sour lemon flavor, add a little bit more. I'm going to start with maybe two big heaping tablespoons and then we'll see from there. That's good for me. I think I used like five-ish tablespoons of my lemon curd. And you do want to make sure that you still have a decent amount for filling your cake and for decorating your cake. So I think this should be fine. Now the last thing we need to do with our filling is gently fold in our whipped cream until we have a nice smooth fluffy consistency. And then we can set our filling aside until we're ready to layer our cake. cake so I already went ahead and cut my cooled off cake into three even layers as well as cut off most of the caramelization off of the top and I also lined the same baking tin with some plastic wrap. So to layer all we're going to do is add a layer of our cake and then add some of our cream and kind of make a wall around the edges and then in the inside we're going to put some of our lemon curd and we're going to repeat that and then put everything into the fridge to set for at least an hour to two hours.
So you want to save the rest of your lemon curd and the rest of your cream because we're going to need it to decorate our cake at the end. So this can now all wander into the fridge for another hour to two hours to let the mascarpone filling set a little bit before we take the cake out of the mold. All right, so it's been an hour and a half and I'm going to attempt to remove it out of the tin. So the filling did set and it came out really smoothly, which is very lucky. And at this point, I'm basically just going to cover the sides and the top with part of my cream until everything is nice and covered. So that's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up. And as always, the whole recipe is going to be in the description box below as well.